card real quick. If Rabbit doesn't show up, we're gonna cut to you after Doug. All right, thank you. Uh, at this point in time, we're going to shift from the overviews of uh, the international offices to start the briefings on our technical directors within AFOSR. Uh, so I'm up first, being uh, RTA. I am uh, David Stargo, uh, Division Chief for Dynamical Systems and Control. And in interest of time, with, our, with the delay that we had today, I'm going to shorten the overview to about five minutes so we can get right into our technical briefings. Um, so next chart, please. Uh, this is our group for dynamical systems and control, uh, and, and our, our mantra within our group is to improve performance and create unprecedented operational capability for the U.S. Air Force. Uh, our program officers are listed there across the top, our technical program officers, uh, Dr. Doug Smith, uh, Dr. Freeba Fru, Dr. Mike Kendra, and Dr. Pan Panapan, and myself. Uh, and then at the bottom, we have um, two other of our uh, program uh, coordinators, uh, Mr. Edley, who runs our uh, HBCU MI program, and uh, Ms. Evelyn Domi, who is our uh, assistant program officer, who ha keep, really keeps the, the glue together and does a lot of stuff for us on the back end of things. Uh, so the programs that, that comprise the dynamical systems and control are flow interactions and control, computational math, dynamics and control, optimization and discrete mathematics, test and evaluation, turbulence and transition, and then multi-scale structural mechanics and prognosis. Uh, next chart, please. And the way we try, when we try to talk about why we're together as a group in terms of dynamic systems and control, next chart, our common intersection is really in the area of flight sciences. Everything that, that, that we do as a group uh, where we intersect is related in the area of flight sciences. Each of us as individual program officers have other areas of interest outside of flight sciences and collaborations with other parts of our AFSR technical groups. Uh, but as a group, that's our unifying theme for RTA is flight sciences. Uh, just a uh, real quick next chart. So just a, a quick like summary of, uh, uh, of, of a transition example that happened within RTA and how we transitioned into the warfighter arena. Um, many years ago, from the, the 50s and on, we've invested in control theory and, and, and trying to understand um, you know, how we can, can filter this type of information that leads to better guidance and control and navigation for, for different areas. So one area that, that we've actually contributed uh, across, not myself personally, but our group, uh, AFSR in general, uh, is an area of, of smart weaponry, smart bombs, uh, going from you know just where we had to layer hundreds of bombs to to, to handle a, a, a to take out a target, to the point where we've gotten to the point where you have the, the guidance and navigation and, and laser control, where you can pinpoint where these bombs are going to drop, and you can take out um, targets with a lot fewer. Uh, uh, weapons. So we, we, we've invested in, in comma filtering in the 50s, adaptive neural net control in the 90s, uh, and then even today and forward, we're still investing in the control theory that's going to lead to our next generation of, of, of um, guidance and control. Uh, and with that, I'm going to stop and, and get into our technical uh, briefings, and, and they'll give you a lot more details about the exciting uh, research that we're doing today to enable the Air Force of tomorrow. <coughs> Questions? Nope. So first up will be Dr. Doug Smith, and he'll give you a, a talk on his program on flow interactions and control. 